Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to make um, spaghetti and meatballs from scratch. First we're going to start out with two pieces of bread. We have sourdough bread here and a food processor. And we chopped it up to make fresh breadcrumbs. Of course if you don't have that, um, you can use the kind that come in the can at the store. One pound of ground beef, shredded up. Two eggs we're going to crack open in a separate bowl. We're going to go ahead and uh, mix them a little bit. Then we're going to add it to the hamburger mixture that we have started. Then we're going to add two tablespoons of chopped parsley. You can use a kind like we have here, the seasoning or fresh parsley. Fresh is probably better, but... Now we're going to add the Parmesan cheese, two tablespoons of shredded Parmesan. Next we're going to add in some basil leaves, one-fourth teaspoon, and some black pepper, one-fourth teaspoon of that as well. And some salt, you could use table salt, sea salt, one teaspoon. And it also calls for one clove of garlic um, chopped up. We don't have fresh garlic so we use the kind in the jar which is quicker, a little bit easier. Now we're going to measure out one cup of the breadcrumbs that we made earlier. We're going to add that to our mixture. We're going to start to mix that up with a spoon. Or you could use your hands if your hands are clean. And then we added a little bit of Italian seasoning. We don't have a measurement for this one, we just kind of sprinkled some in. And then you mix it really well. And it should look like this when it gets pretty well mixed in. And you're going to scoop out some and roll it into about one and one inch, or I'm sorry, one and a half inch in diameter um, little balls. Try to make them as even and close to the size as the other ones so they all cook evenly. This recipe will fill up that whole tray. In the meantime, you could go ahead and preheat your oven to 350 degrees so it's ready by the time you get done with this process. There's a whole tray. And again, 350 degrees. And you're going to bake those for about 20 minutes. And then we took them out and we flipped them each over. And we baked them for an additional 10 minutes. You could cook them a little bit longer if you like them darker, which I prefer. Um, so I, if I were doing this, I would have cooked it a little bit longer. That's what they look like when they come out. Don't look very appetizing at this point, but they were delicious, I promise. Then we take two jars of, we had the, the Dahlia onion flavored um, spaghetti sauce. We did not make our own. <laughs> and then we added all the meatballs to it. And we're going to stir it around to make sure that they're all covered with the sauce. And we're going to simmer that for about 30 minutes. And while that's simmering, um, go ahead and start boiling your water for your spaghetti. And once it's rapidly boiling, we'll add the spaghetti to it. And cook that by the directions on the box. And then it's done. And you want to remember to stir it um, occasionally while it's simmering for the 30 minutes so it doesn't burn at the bottom. And it is yummy. If you guys have any other recipes you want to see or if you like this video or if you went ahead and made this um, recipe, go ahead and leave me a comment and like this video. Thanks guys. Thanks for watching.